Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ and guests. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. Today's date is Wednesday, April the 12th, 2023, and the time here is approximately 103 Central Standard Time in the afternoon. I hope and pray that everyone is ready to fly because I can hardly wait. Amen. First off, I would like to say something. I tried to do a live last night on the YT bill, and just like that, I had absolutely no internet connection. Internet down. Sounds like the topic for a good film, correct? Um, so, one of our brethren, Eyes on the Wall 24-7, hi, <laughs> asked earlier, why is it your video said it was 59, 59, 59 minutes, 59 seconds, when only, I believe it was 7.21 was shown. I was just getting started, okay? And immediately, the Holy Spirit led me, oh, for crying out loud, Shay Shay, Shay Shay want to play with her binky, okay? <laughs> and it's squeaky. <laughs> However, I'm going to try to ignore that. Mothers and grandmothers and great-grandmothers can do that. So, I hope you can hear me all right. Um, however, like I said, Holy Spirit led me immediately to go to Strong's 5959, okay? And I'm going to share with you what that said. <laughs> and you know me, I don't do that very often at all, <laughs> only when I'm led to do so. Okay. Strong's 5959. The word is pronounced Alma. Feminine of 5958. A less as veiled or private damsel maid virgin Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew, lex Hebrew Lexicon, Alma, Virgin, Young Woman, of Manageable Age, Maid, or Newly Married. Okay. We are the wise bride. Okay. We are waiting for our bridegroom, and exactly as the parable of the ten virgins, five were foolish, five were wise, amen, five had, the wise virgins had enough oil in their lamps, and their wicks had been trimmed, while the foolish virgins were left banging on the door, saying, let us in, We don't have enough oil. And the voice came forth and said, Go to the store and buy your oil. And when they did, the door had been shut and they were unable to enter. Okay? Now, many people don't speak about these things. All I can tell you is what I know for myself, what I have learned, okay, um, as you know, I have been near death multitudes of times through my whole cancer ordeal, the surgeries, all of it, okay, uh, May 22nd will mark 17 years cancer free, praise God, and I give him all the glory that I'm alive 
and I am alive in Christ Jesus. Now, something happens to someone who is a believer in Christ when they are near death's door, especially multitudes of times over so many years, okay? Seek him and he will reveal himself to you in prayer. Close your eyes. Ask him for this uh, oil. I pray for this oil every day for you and myself as well. But you will need to ask him. He will, through the power of the Holy Spirit, will it comes like a mist of, for me, it is like a mist of uh, royal purple, okay? Um, sometimes it's different, okay? But the Holy Spirit does reveal because the Holy Spirit searches the heart and the motives of every self-professed believer. Um so I just ask, ask him, humble yourselves before the Lord. And when you sin, because all have sinned and the wages of sin is death. And no, we do not make a practice of sinning. However, we do still sin and we go directly to him in repentance and seek his face in humility. Amen. And shay shay go. And uh, that's how I was taught by God. Okay? By the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Because I don't want to be a foolish virgin. And I know you don't either. Put down the videos for a while. Seek him while he still may be found, okay? And the tears, and, you know, they're like rivers that flow, you know? And he is saving every tear. Every single one of us has a bottle with our name on it that he holds our tears in, and he will mix our tears in the wine press in Revelation and he will, that will be a bold judgment, okay, the prayers of the saints mixed with our tears, okay, so take that, you know, pray about it, pray about everything, okay, so I wanted to share that with you. Now, let's get into <laughs> news, yeah, okay. Let's see here. Yeah. The IMF, International Monetary Fund, chief ec uh, economist, warns inflation could stay high until 2025. Yeah. They have no clue. Okay. In a call with MBS, you know, Saudi Arabia's Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Security Advisor Jake Sullivan welcomed their extraordinary efforts to pursue a more comprehensive roadmap for ending the Yemen war and offered full U.S. support for those efforts. Now, yesterday, yeah. And this is just so wicked. It's all wicked. It's just a clown show. Um, Biden, okay, he took off with his family along with his son, Hunter, and sister, Valerie. <laughs> it's unbelievable. There are 400 and 59 potential crimes documented on the Biden laptop. 
140 business crimes, 191 sexual crimes, 128 narcotics crimes, yet the media has ignored it and the FBI has done little more than conceal the evidence behind the bail of an active investigation and now he's over there in Ireland. Okay? And Guess who he was welcomed by in Belfast, Ireland, on the tarmac when Air Force One landed, Rishi Sunak, another NWO person. Now, Israel has been having multitudes of terror attacks. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has had to walk back the firing of Defense Minister Gallant, okay, because they're about to be in a full-fledged war there. The people have risen up. Um, that is nonstop. They said as long as he would you know, stop the reform of the judicial um, that they would stop. No, they're not stopping, okay? Um, there were uh, three women in the Jordan Valley on the Israel side, okay, that were attacked a few days ago. Two of the woman's uh, daughters, I believe the eldest was... 15, and the other one, I'm not sure what her age was. She was under that, maybe 10 or something. Um, they were both murdered. They were tortured and murdered. And the mother was also hurt. Well, she just passed, I believe, yesterday. Okay? And... They're still going into, IDF is still going into Nobilis. They're still going into Janine and stopping some other massive type terror attacks while it has come out in the leaked dossiers of this quackadoodle Jabama administration, the big leak. Yeah. Uh... It seems like we have been spying on all of our so-called allies, okay? And Egypt is one, and they're trying to cover it up and sweep it also under the rug, but it's out there, and it's it's the truth. Um, yet yeah, Egypt's Pharaoh El Sisi his crew are denying that they have sent any rockets to Russia through Syria, okay? Iran, they're, they're ready to pounce along with Hamas and Hezbollah and probably Jordan, okay, um, and others. They're, they're, they're ready. Um, they are, is believed to believe they are going to do this, uh, on the Friday when Ramadan ends. However, Ramadan ends on the 20th of this month, and that is on a Thursday. And their time, the way they keep time, they are about 10 days ahead of us here, the way on our Gregorian. So, does that mean all H-E-L-L hockey sticks is about to break out this Friday? Don't know. You never know what these terrorists have planned, okay? But what I do know is they are screaming from the rooftops. And also, last video, I had mentioned that uh, at the UN, okay, 
Now, Russia is supposed to be in charge now, okay, at the UN. So, uh, after, you know, the huge uprisings uh, that happened, and there was an emergency UN closed door Security Council secretive meeting, the United States stood up and silenced everyone by veto. No one was be able to speak, period. Not Israel, nor Israel's enemies, okay? Why? I'm telling y'all, this is not good. This is not good whatsoever. Uh, there was a security assessment yesterday that took place with uh, Bibi Netanyahu and Gallant and other security chiefs who all agreed that all Jewish tours of the Temple Mount have been suspended until after Ramadan. Appeasing the terrorists. Why? Now, this is just ridiculous. The Venezuelan government announced that they have been invited by the Chinese government to participate in the International Lunar Research Station. And that is the first country to be invited to the joint project. It's created by the Chinese and Russian space agencies to develop a lunar base to conduct scientific research in lunar orbit and on the lunar surface. It's all a lie. Just leaving it there. This guy here, he is an actual Hamas official. Okay. Now, I'm not, I can show you his face. But you're not going to understand. Well, let me shut that off, and I'll tell you what it meant. Hamas official Sheikh Hamad al Rajib refers to Jews as, quote, brothers of apes and pigs. During a Rafa Friday sermon, praise for the annihilation of polytheists and atheists, adds, O oh Allah, enable us to get to the necks of the Jews. Such hatred, such evil wickedness. Now, you know, Israel struck again in Damascus, Syria. Uh, I believe it was three days ago. Um, yes, yeah, three days ago, I believe. It came out, it appears that the impact to the entrance of the Mayor al-Assad's... No, no, no. Sorry. Shay Shay want to walk around me. Uh... Meir al-Sad's governmental building located in the 4th Division, Damascus, Syria's, Syria, was stated a strike was conducted as a warning. Now, we know at some point Isaiah 17.1 will come to fruition. And CENTCOM confirms the attack on a Conoco gas, petroleum, base earlier yesterday, okay? It attacked coalition forces in 
northeast Syria. Yeah, here we go. Egypt's President Pharaoh El Sisi ordered subordinates to produce up to 40,000 rockets to be covertly shipped to Russia, according to a leaked U.S. intel document. And they're trying to say, oh no, oh no, didn't happen. It happened. Shay, Shay, go. Go. Now, this I found interesting because Mr. Assange, okay, should be given a Nobel Peace Prize, I'm telling you, quoted this in a video. Because the goal is not to completely subjugate Afghanistan, the goal is to use Afghanistan to wash money out of the tax basis of the United States, of the tax basis of European countries through Afghanistan and back into the hands of the transnational security elite. That is the goal. The goal is to have an endless war, not a successful war. Yeah. Then this happened yesterday. Massive fire breaks out in a facility used for recycling and stores plastics and other material in Richmond, Indiana. Evacuation orders issued. Those residents who are further than half mile from fire are told by authorities to shelter in place, keep windows and doors closed, bring all pets inside. Looks more like something more than plastic burning. Yeah. Let's continue. Yeah, our sister said, the demonic activity is so evident now, you will either be brainwashed or blood washed. No more middle ground. I agree to that. Our brother, make no mistake, we are entering the season of the pre-trib rapture of the church. 1 John 3, 1. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. For the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Almighty God. The dead in Christ shall rise first, and we who are alive and remain shall be caught up in the air to be with the Lord. And forever we will be with him. Glory, hallelujah. Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. People on earth hate to hear the word repent. Those in hell wish they could hear it just once more. Out of DEFCON warning system, there were reports that China has continued its live fire exercises around Taiwan. There are currently, I believe, eight warships and... God only knows how many other amphibious ships and whatever. Uh, this came out yesterday. Um, they continued their live fire exercises around Taiwan despite claiming it was a three-day exercises which were supposed to end day before yesterday and it's still going on. And 
Francis Emmanuel Macron came out and said, that is not our problem, that area. So he has totally changed his stance on the Asia Indo Pacific region because he is working feverishly on his Ten Kings. Okay? Germany, and this is so ridiculous, this came out, has decided to shut down its three remaining nuclear plants on Saturday. Better that it can fulfill its green ambitions without atomic power despite the energy crisis. And they always blame it on the Ukraine war. Right? Colossians 3.23 And whatsoever ye do, do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Amen. And Azerbaijan Republic Army invaded yeah, an Armenian village in Sionic province of Armenia with support of Turkey. Baku wants to occupy south of Armenia and establish a complete blockade around the country. And this is something you're not going to hear about because <laughs> there were, I don't know how many, over a hundred people were murdered. Um, it's just, it's insane. Also, yesterday, a body was found, back to Israel, in Nahal Paran, more than 20 hours after losing contact with young people who were swept away in the flood. There was a flood incident. And on Sunday, all H-E-L-L hockey sticks broke out in Baltimore. Some 200 teenagers had a massive brawl and shots rang out. And so the mayor has decided for a citywide curfew. <laughs> yeah. Criminal gone dumb. It's just ridiculous. South Korea, yeah. They were also spied on by the U.S., and that's supposed to be our allies. Yeah. Presidential office says it will demand the U.S. take appropriate action regarding reports that the U.S. allegedly spied on its top security officials, and it also happened to Japan, yeah, and others. And I'm sure Israel is as well. Okay? Unbelievable. The Dalai Lama, the Tibetan's 87-year-old spiritual leader, apologizes after footage of him show him asking a young boy to suck my tongue at a public event. The Philippines will not allow any offensive actions from the bases it has opened to U U.S. troops. And this intel breach, naturally, Canada says it will continue to work with its Five Eyes, that's the name of this so-called spyware, okay? Uh, and they declined to confirm or deny any information from U.S. Intel documents leaked on social media. 
I can confirm it. And and y'all know, y'all know it's the truth. Um, yeah, Egypt's foreign minister Sameh Shakri is likely to visit Turkey again this week. The government in Ankara says adding that progress could be made towards reinstatement of envoys after relations ended a decade ago. Fake peace and security. Oh, yes. Foreign ministers of Turkey, Russia, Iran, and Syria. Now, Syria is not part of the Ezekiel 38 war. Turkey, Russia, Iran are because Syria is already gone. <laughs> may hold consultations in early May as part of Russia's attempt to help broker a rapprochement between the Turkish and Syrian governments, coming from the Turkey's foreign minister. And there was a shooting in downtown Louisville, Kentucky, at a bank, which killed, I believe, five, okay, and two of them happened to be very close-knit friends with the Kentucky Governor, Andy Bashir. <sighs> Something fishy about that, too. South Korea says a significant portion of leaked U.S. intel docu documents indicated concerns in Seoul about arms supplies to Ukraine were fake. The U.S. government is spending over $5 billion dollars on an effort to speed up the development of new cb one er new ones and treatments in an investment dubbed Project Next Gen. No. Unprecedented. Australia says it's inching closer to stabilizing its fraught relationship with China as the two countries move to solve a festering trade dispute over barley exports. In New Jersey... A man stabs an imam at a mosque during Fajr prayers on April 9th. He has since pleaded not guilty to a charge of attempted murder. And this happened at Kamachka, uh, Russia. It's a peninsula, and it's actually on a fault line, and there's also an very active volcano there. And my app showed there was a 4.9 earthquake. Um, I'm sure that was edited. Okay. We got volcanoes blasting, the earth shaking. Oh, yeah. And Western Australia could be hit by the largest cyclone in almost a decade this week, with the weather system predicting to cross the coast near a major export port for iron ore that's to be cleared of all vessels. More than 17,000 Philippine and U.S. soldiers begin their latest ever joint military drills. Well, what's the point, right? As ties between the long-term allies warm over shared concerns about China's assertiveness in the Asia-Pacific region. I just told you, the leader said 
that American troops will not be using our bases in the Philippines for anything against China. <laughs> Let's see here. Psalm 27, 1 and 2. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Amen. A truck carrying over 20,000 pounds of toxic soil from the train derailment in uh, Palestine, Ohio, just happened to topple over in an accident on the highway and spilt said toxic soil everywhere. What you gonna do? Uh, let's see. Hezbollah, Hamas, terrorist leaders. This came out three days ago. Including Ismail Haniyeh and Nasrallah meet in Beirut. Yeah, three days ago. So we got the leader of Hamas and the leader of Hezbollah. Telling y'all. Prime Minister's Office of Israel said on behalf of the Mossad spy, right, that the report by the American news outlets, which blamed Israel's spy agency for encouraging Israelis to participate in anti government protests, is completely false and unfounded. I don't think so. Nope. Because we got former Defense Man uh, Minister Gantz in on it. Former Prime Minister Yair Lapid in on it. And they are stroking the flames. And I believe that they're all in on it. They want to get rid of any godly thing whatsoever. Remember, these are the days of Noah and the days of Lot. Sick of talking about those late documents. And Netanyahu says Israel is under terrorist assault castigates previous government and anti-court reform protest movement for emboldening Israel's enemies. Ephesians 6.12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We're at 38.15. What else we got here? I believe that's all. Let's see. Just know, you know, this is amazing love. That God the Son would lay down his life for us. Shed his holy blood over our sins. To whosoever would call upon his name. And believe in him. Love you guys. See you in the air. Have a beautifully blessed day. I'm keeping you in my prayers. And I know you're keeping me in yours. Maranatha.